For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the college football 25 cheese. In today's video, I'm going to go over an article that I found on EA's personal website in their news and media section that I wasn't aware of yesterday when I put out my video reacting to the uh, gameplay deep dive that they put out. This particular article is massive. There's so much information here. I'm not going to try to cover it all in one video because I saw another YouTube creator that did that and it just got confusing. There's so much information. I'm just going to try to stick to the most important stuff here because there are a lot of really important changes to gameplay specifically that I think that uh, the audience really should be aware of before they you know want to play this game. But before I do, as always, if you guys want to see me do more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Now, one of the first things that I see here, which is what, part of the reason I'm just going to stick to the important stuff, is EA is known for putting a lot of lip service into games that isn't necessarily true once the game comes out. We've all been there. One of them is they talk about 134 different ways to play, which is they're trying to say that each of the 134 teams that are going to be in this game are going to have unique offenses. Like, that's true. They are going to be slightly different. But it's just like Madden. You can see copy and paste whenever a coach goes from one team or a coordinator goes from one team to become a head coach of another team. You can see that the playbooks are pretty much identical with a few changes. And I went over that yesterday in the gameplay video that I put out where I basically showed that there are several plays on screen that are already in Madden, several formations that are already in Madden. And you can tell they just kind of ported them over and kind of changed the play arts to look different for college, which is typical of what they've done for you know years when they used to make the old NCAA game. So I don't think that that's necessarily going to be the case where every offense is like the team's uh, college offense in real life. But they do point out a few specific offenses like the Air Force triple option. I'll go over the triple option a lot later in the video. Uh, the Air Raid at USC. Those offenses that they're specifically mentioning are going to be unique to those uh, specific. Um, you know, They're going to be unique because they have done that in the past. Arizona's playbook was very different. A couple years back was very college-like, uh, very different from what Madden had in the game already. Same thing with um, you know the Ravens. They have a lot of pistol formations and a lot a lot of um, read option plays because of Lamar Jackson. There are some very unique offenses in Madden, but it's really only like a handful. And I expect that to be the case when it comes to College Football 25, where a lot of it's just going to be copy and paste. Another thing they talk about is campus IQ, but that just sounds like lip service to me as well. Uh, one thing that does not sound like lip service is the wear and tear system. This sounds so important that there's six different ways to access it. There's a player reticle. There's You can access it in the depth chart. There's something called coach vision, which I'm going to go over a little bit later, which is very important. Picture in picture in the play call menu. I mean, there's so many different ways to, if, you, if you're playing a dynasty, you can see it on the, um, on the, on the, in a, on the player card. Uh, so there's so many different ways to view this because it's that big of a deal. This is something, there's going to be several systems that they're implementing in this game that you're going to have to uh, basically manage on a play-by-play -play basis, which is really cool. It really uh, brings you to a point where it's like, you know, you can't just, like in Madden, you can just kind of, you know, f just run around, you know, flinging the ball all over the place and there's no downside to it. Where well, they specifically say that if you're playing in a game, especially in Dynasty mode or a long-term mode rather than just a single, single game, if you're playing in a game where you're throwing the ball 40 times with a quarterback, don't expect your quarterback to be 100% the following week. You're, you're going to wear his arm out. You know what I mean? Stuff like that, which isn't in Madden now, and it wasn't, I don't know if it was in NCAA games in the past, but this is definitely an important system that you're going to have to know about before you play this game because it's something that, unless you play, you know, a lot of people, I'm sure there's going to be an option to turn that off, just like there's an option to turn fatigue off and uh, practice injuries and stuff like that in Madden. So if you're playing in a dynasty mode and you don't want to deal with it, I'm sure they'll have an option to take that off. But for the most part, if you want a real experience, which is what they're going for, I think this is actually going to be a really good challenge. So now they also mentioned things like you can't, you know, say you're running a, a half pack on a, on three straight plays on hurry up or something like that, or a new turbo system, which is something I'll also go over later in the video, which sounds really cool. But if you're doing that, you're going to fatigue that running back to the point where it might be better to take him out after doing that. Or if you're, you know, say you're you're chucking the ball down the field three straight times at the same receiver who's running a streak route, he's going to get tired by the third time you might not be able to run that streak route, or the risk of injury is going to get that much higher. Now, another thing when it comes to the actual injuries system, 
um, is the fact that individual body parts can get hurt uh, based off of, and this is what they're saying, can get hurt based off of where a player gets hit. So if your quarterback's throwing a pass and gets hit on his arm, he might not be able to throw the ball very accurate, accurate, accurately on the next play, as I'm starting my words here. Or if you have um, you know, a, a quarterback get hurt in his legs and you're playing um, you know, the, the road to glory mode or something like that, they're not going to be calling a lot of read option plays. You know what I mean? Stuff like that, very unique, uh, specific to a body part, which I think is also very cool. And they also say that you're going to notice this in the animations. And so you may notice after you know running the ball three straight times for positive yards, you may notice that the running back is huffing and puffing in the pre-play before the next play. So you're going to have visual cues that indicate, okay, this guy's getting tired. Rather than in Madden, you don't really get much of that. You kind of just get like, once you go back to the play call screen, you'll see that they're yellow or red, um, which is your indicator. So it's cool to see that they actually will have uh, something you can see because a lot of people are going to be running the no huddle. A lot of people are going to be running the turbo system, which I'm going to talk about later, to the point where they won't even go back to that screen and see that or be able to see that. So I like that. That's definitely um, the, the wear and tear system is definitely going to be a challenge. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of systems in this game that are going to basically force you um, to, to, to reevaluate the way that you play. Another system that's going to be a, something you're going to have to monitor on a play-by-play -play basis is the confidence and composure system. Uh, they have confidence and stuff like that. Um, I think it's going to call it morale in Madden, where it will go up and down week to week based off of your performance. But this sounds like something that's going to be changing play to play, which is going to bring even more importance to it. Uh, they also say that confidence and composure are things that could be affected even more dramatically in big games. So if you're playing in like a national championship or you're playing in um, any bowl game, anything that's got you know significant importance, I would imagine even going as far as uh, rivalry games, um, you know, things like that, you're going to have, um, you know, it's going to swing that much more dramatically. So it's something that you're definitely, once again, these are all systems you have to pay attention to play to play, and they're going to really have a large effect on the game. Now, they do say experience plays a critical role in confidence composure. They keep going back to this is a part of the campus IQ thing they're talking about. A freshman player is going to be more volatile than a, se a seasoned senior, which is basically what they say. Um, and I think this, this confidence composure thing all really has to do with the next system that's going to be a constant, and that's the, the crowd level noise, which they call the stadium pulse. Now, in Madden, they have something similar. I know I keep comparing it to Madden because that's what they've done most recently that we have to compare it to. It's been over a decade since they've had a college football game. But the stadium pulse can be very similar to that uh, that bar that's sliding from left to right, basically showing you who's getting the uh, the advantage in the game. That's going to be the same thing. If you're playing in a away stadium, uh, it'll probably start off, it might start off kind of low, or based off of your performance, you might have to bring it down. If you're like in a championship game or something like that, I'm sure that the stadium pulse will be high. You'll have to play well to bring it down to a level where it's not affecting your team anymore. And I think that's where the confidence uh, and, uh, you know, I figure what they call it, the confidence and composure system comes into play. It's really battling uh, that uh, that you know that meter. You basically going to want to make sure you keep that meter as low as possible. You're going to get that squiggly line effect, which can be difficult. You're going to have a hard time uh, changing uh, you know hot routes, changing plays. All that stuff's going to be an issue if that stadium pulse is at max level. Now, another really important system that they added is called coaching vision. Uh, basically, you just hold the left trigger and it'll bring up a lot of options like wear and tear, confidence and composure levels, abilities, and matchups, so that you can basically see you know who's got the best matchup on the field. I mean, I think that pre-snap reads are going to be huge in this game. Uh, the defense is going to look different, though, which I'll get into next. But reading the defense pre-snap with this coaching vision, I think is going to give you a huge advantage. I imagine, you know, a lot of people might want to play, if you're playing like an option-style defense, maybe you'll play that turbo mode or you'll play that uh, hurry-up offense like I was saying. But other than that, if you're playing like a pro-style offense, I think it's going to be really important to use this new coaching vision technique. And that's because they created a new coverage shell system to replace base aligning, which is something that you are probably aware of in Madden. In years past, there's it was really easy to read a defense because all you really had to do was look at the cornerbacks or the safeties, especially if your opponent didn't base a line, uh, which really kind of became the meta last year in Madden 24. In this new game, there's no base aligning at all. They remove that, but they also give you the ability with the right stick to choose a coverage shell, which ranges from anywhere from cover zero to cover four. Now, that means if you're running cover zero, you can come out of cover four look, or if you're running cover four, you can come out of cover zero look. You can do a bunch of different things. You, you can change your, your coverage shell looks pre-snap to try to confuse your opponent. Which to me is something that I would like to see them add to Madden, and I'm sure that they will. If you follow over the last couple of years, the last couple of Madden games that were released, 
Uh, I think as they were developing these things for NCAA or for College Football 25 behind the scenes, I think they were slowly adding that to Madden. Like if they came up with a good feature like Home Field Advantage, which used to be in the old NCAA games, they were like, okay, this is good, but let's add this to Madden now so that we can have some new features. I think that's basically what was going on. As they were coming up with new features while developing College Football 25, they were throwing it into Madden. And I think you can see the same thing with some of these features. I think we're going to see some of these things carry over to Madden uh, as their new features for Madden 25. Another feature that I fully expect to be added to Madden 25 that's new to this game is the switch stick feature, which allows you to use the hit stick uh, in a in a way that if you're if you're trying to lurk a certain player and you see a play developing a certain way, you just flick the right stick in the direction that you want to go to a different defender, and it allows you to switch defenders very easily, which is something that's been missing in the game for a very long time. This will make playing defense a lot easier if you're a good defensive player, and it'll make playing offense a lot harder because I know I, me personally, a lot of times I'll watch where's the user and i'll make my decision to throw the ball away from that person if they're very good well now they can be all over the field so this is something that's going to definitely make uh you know i know a lot of people think that defense is uh getting worse in these games and offense is getting better uh if you're a good defender this is really going to step your level up and make it much easier for you to um you know to basically be a, a better defender all over the field. This is something that's unique to pass coverage. So if they're running the ball, you're not going to be able to use this function. And if the quarterback throws the ball or passes the line of scrimmage, say they scramble past the line of scrimmage uh, and decide to run for it, it will go back to being the hit stick. So we'll see how well they implemented this, but I have a good feeling this is going to be one of the better features that they add. Now, they did change the passing system a little bit, although it is somewhat similar to Madden's uh, latest passing system when it comes to placement and accuracy, where basically you're going to try to go for blue as a color. Uh, you can also get yellow, which is kind of iffy, and then red, which is just going to be totally inaccurate. So if you want to hold the button down for a bullet pass, it might cause uh, problems. You can't just hold the button down endlessly like you used to be able to in Madden. Um, they also said that throw power doesn't just tell you how far the ball can go but it could also tell you how quickly you can get through a receiver based off the type of throws you're throwing uh, and all these things are once again dependent on your uh, quarterback's um, you know abilities as far as um, you know accuracy and stuff like that are concerned one of the cooler features that they added to was to the smart routing apparently now i think they call it a custom stem where you can basically uh, customize a route's uh, you know, say you're running like a five yard in, you can now run that at 10, 15, 20, 25, however long you want based off of uh, that feature. So you can now change the distance where in the past you used to be able to only smart route it to the line of scrimmage or whatever the line to gain was, uh, which is way cooler. So now you can, you have way more customization, including uh, the actual uh, routes that you have options for as hot routes. I said in yesterday's video that it looks like every quarterback has hot route master because there was a third uh, screen and now that's been confirmed that pretty much every single quarterback will have three different screens when it comes to actual hot route options for their quarterbacks, meaning that you're going to have a lot more control, a lot more abilities when it comes to creating pass plays, which I think is totally cool. Now, to read a defense, there are abilities that can help with that. Uh, and I'll go over some of the new abilities first or next as they have over 80 new abilities in this game. It says the majority of them are completely new to the college football gaming space, which makes sense because a lot of them are specific to college. So we're not going to see a ton of these in, in uh, Madden, but I would imagine some might pour it over as well. But the one that's going to be important to reading defenses is field general. Now, this year, the, the abilities come in four different tiers, and they make it very clear that these abilities are not guaranteed to come up at all. They're not like Madden where they're always active. I don't know what exactly is going to um, you know make them active, but certain abilities like the one for your offensive line to pass block better, they said that if you have if your first down is more than 10 yards, it's not going to turn on. So there's going to be it's going to be situational, and it really doesn't go into how much these are situational uh, or what situations they'll they'll come into a, into account. But they also talk about how it's very important to stay ahead of the sticks to keep it uh, in manageable situations so if you take a big sack on first and ten probably none of these abilities are going to turn on but if you get the second and five you get the third and two you'll probably have these abilities throughout the entire game is what they lead me to believe from reading these articles now as far as the field general icon like i said there's four different levels bronze or bronze silver gold and platinum and platinum is the only one that actually allows you to read the actual coverage 
Gold will allow you to read the covered shell. So that means if your opponent comes out, like I was just talking about, in a cover four covered shell, doesn't really matter if he's actually running cover zero, he's running cover one or whatever. You know what I mean? If he's running a different coverage, you're going to just see the shell. You could still be confused by it because it's only the platinum level that will actually show you, okay, he's in a cover two shell, but he's running cover three. You know what I mean? So it's going to be very interesting. And this is going to go back to small ball. This is all created to to go back to trying to uh, make it to where you can basically run a lot of small ball offense rather than, um, you know, just trying to chuck it down the field for big plays. Because that's what college football really is all about. To me, it's always about when I played the older games was running the triple option, running RPOs, running a small ball offense. Because back then, uh, passing the ball deep really felt like a Madden exclusive. It didn't really feel like that was meant for college. You'll still be able to do that in this game, I'm sure. But there's a lot of things in the way that are going to make it more difficult. Now, this article does go over a lot of different uh, abilities kind of mixed in. Uh, you have to kind of find them. They're not all listed in the abilities section. I went over a couple in yesterday's video, and a lot of these are really repeats. But Option King I went over yesterday, where basically the, the higher the tier of, option, uh, of your Option King, you'll have more speed and more accurate pitches and stuff like that. And also protection against wear and tear, which means you can run these option things over and over. So... If you have the Platinum Option King on, you can keep running it and your players aren't going to feel the wear and tear of it, meaning that you can run it more often, which I think is going to be totally overpowered. They also have the same thing for Workhorse. If you have player, a player that has Workhorse, which I went over a couple players that did yesterday was in the, in the trailer, if you have Ultimate, you're going to be uh, protected from wear and tear effects. So you can just run that running back all game if you have a Workhorse running back. Uh, downhill was something that I mentioned yesterday as well. Um, and it says slightly more broken tackles when at max speed, but when you get to the platinum level, you only got to get to 80% and you're going to be breaking more tackles, which that one, I kind of feel like uh, to break tackles, it should be something you have to work for or to make a guy miss and stuff like that, uh, you know, which is something that I just feel like should be something more that the user has to do. But apparently if you have this, it's just going to be running people over if you get the full speed, which I think is a little bit on the cheap side. But once again, this isn't guaranteed. It's not always going to be on. So that's something that uh, kind of makes it a little bit easier to swallow now talking about the option game a lot of people are already saying that this is going to be overpowered i call that from the jump i mean I, I haven't even touched the game yet but like i said the option was always the best thing to do in the old college game so i would imagine it's going to be the most fun thing to do now but they have a whole section here on option and rpos uh, where basically they change the system a little bit if you don't do anything you're still going to auto handoff just like you do in madden uh, but they do have now an option to uh they call it the pull keep button which is basically the air x button whether you're on xbox or playstation and what I think this is designed to do, if you play Madden now, you re might realize that there's certain deeper routes that really aren't even functional because the auto handoff comes too quick. Uh, where in this scenario, it looks like you can hit the air X button and keep the ball with the quarterback to the point where you can let the deeper options uh, develop a little bit more and still have the ability to pass. So that's really cool. I hope that's what they're talking about here. It says looking to keep the ball with the quarterback on an RPO is dictates is dependent on what type of RPO you're running. So if you're running a read or a peak RPO, you can keep the ball with the quarterback compared to a glance or an alert. You can't keep the ball. You don't have the option to keep the ball with the quarterback. But I do like the fact that they give you an option. This is what it sounds like anyway, that they'll give you an option to hold the ball a little along with the quarterback rather than auto handoff so that you can actually throw to some deeper options because they're not even really op like there's RPO plays designed in Madden that you can't even throw to the receivers because it takes too long for them to get open and the auto handoff happens so it's like it's going to be really nice for that option if that's really what they're talking about here now they also changed your ability to pitch the ball there's two different options there's a strong pitch by holding it similar to a bullet pass uh, which is going to be more accurate and you apparently need more space to do that or there's also a quick pitch if you just tap it you know what I mean? Which is better for tight spaces, which is what they say. You also have the ability to fake pitch, which is going to be double tapping similar to pump faking as a quarterback. So if you're, you know, say you're running with the quarterback and you see a defender who's usering, you want to fake him out and go upfield, you can do that. So stuff like that's really cool. Also, if you play Madden now, the, the pitch system doesn't really seem to go away unless you're like 10 yards down the field. Um, because typically when you're running a, a pitch uh, option play, uh, the quarterback doesn't really get to full speed. He's kind of running like half speed. And then say you want to keep with the quarterback and start running upfield, you'll notice that the, the, the pitch option is still following you and the quarterback's still in that slower animation. Where now they add, they implemented the ability to hit the R2 button or the right trigger a couple yards past the line of scrimmage, and now you're going to go back into ball carrier mode where you can sprint or you can uh, juke a player out with the quarterback and stuff like that. So those are some really good additions as I really expect um, the option and RPOs to be much better 
in uh, college football because that's so much more definitive when it comes to college football. Now, they also give you what I assume to be some lip service as far as how the defenses are going to play against uh, options and RPOs because let's be honest, they're, 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 the way that they basically quelled um, option plays in uh, in Madden was they just kind of nerfed them to the point where it's like you'll fumble a lot more or you'll get bad pitches or whatever. They, like it, it, like a couple years ago, the RP or option plays were like much better. Triple option plays were much better. And like the last year, it seems like they just they didn't know how to defend it, so they just kind of made it worse. Same thing with RPOs this year. RPOs this year, the defenses don't know how to stop that. I put out videos, and, and there are ways to stop it, but it's much lesser known. It's it's much uh, it's something that people have been struggling with all year, stopping RPO plays in Madden. Well, they do give you some lip service about how the uh, the logic for the defense is going to be a little bit better when it comes to like the read keys and stuff like that. Uh, they do give you some very specific things, but at the end of the day, it still feels like lip service until I see it because based off of what I've seen in Madden, it makes me think that they don't know how to program the game to stop these plays, which I'm kind of cool with if I'm being honest because in college, and they've already said this in the past too in, in uh, many publications, that college football defenses are behind the offenses. The offenses are typically better, and I, I expect this to be an offensive-based game where the defenses are probably going to struggle to stop these things. I'm kind of accepting that, and I'm cool with that because, like I said, I want to have fun, and the option is like the funnest way to play. So if they, if they have to make a choice, either the offense is going to be better or the defense is going to be better. If the defense is shutting down options, I'm going to be upset because I want to play in a way that I want to play. It doesn't work in Madden. It's supposed to work in college. That's the whole point. Option offenses are supposed to be the most fun. Same thing with RPOs. So I wouldn't be mad about it if it's difficult to stop, but they do give you some lip service and some specific uh, instances where they say based off of what hash mark you're going to be on or what down and distance you're going to be on that the defense might key in on a certain uh, part of the you know of the of the system like if it's third and two they're going to key in on the uh, the the up back you know the guy that's uh, that's playing the the dive uh, back more often you know what I mean that that's that's the quicker uh, way to get those two yards. It also says that the defense can bluff whether it's going to play the quarterback or the running back. I know in Madden, it's been the uh, the meta for a while just to focus on the quarterback because otherwise the quarterback's running naked down the field. So that's something that they're giving you some more optionality. Uh, and I did see there were some uh, some some abilities as well. Uh, to, to I think one was called option disruptor. So it's like if you if you're playing against somebody that's running a lot of option plays, obviously that's going to be important. Um, but yeah, I mean there are some things that they implemented, but the time will tell if the defense can actually stop these things or not. And it also says that there's new coaching adjustments, which I'll go over in a minute. Uh, when it comes to defense, it says rather than just a single option defense coaching adjustment, you can now instruct your read defender and your pitch defender to key in separately on how they defend. I went over this a little bit yesterday as far as the new coaching adjustment on offense that was added. We still don't know all the new coaching adjustments on defense that was added, but the one I just told you about. Uh, but there's a new turbo tempo style, which is essentially they're trying to mimic, and they say here they're mimicking the blur offense from back in the, you know, back when Oregon was running the blur offense. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is something that you can activate just like you want to activate a spike ball or a no huddle after a play. You can just hold square or X based off of, you know, Xbox or PlayStation, and it'll basically put you in turbo mode, which it, essentially you're trading the ability to hot route. And you're just going to be running the same play over and over and over again uh, from the looks of it. Which, like I said, that makes sense if you're running an option. Uh, if you're running a triple option, if you're if, if your opponent's in a... Say your opponent comes out... I do this a lot in Madden. Say your opponent comes out in a small defense and you got them stuck. And you and you want to, don't even want to give them any time to make adjustments. You're going to run that turbo mode. That's going to be really cheesy. Which, like I said, I say that. But I'm going to be doing that a lot. So <laughs> if, if I cut somebody in the wrong defense... I'm going to be going to turbo mode every single time. And now there is a downside, obviously, that um, you're going to fatigue faster all the players on the offense if you do that. So obviously you can't do this in the entire game. Uh, and you're also, it, it plays a lot into the confidence system as well, um, which is basically can go up or down based off the success or failure while in turbo mode. So you could end up shooting yourself in the foot there, uh, which is important to know. But at the end of the day, like I said, if you know you have an advantage, that turbo mode is going to be really hard to stop. Now, I'm going to end the video there. There is more information on the website, um, small stuff like victory formation, 
Um, you know, they have stuff like the new kicking meter for kicking field goals and stuff like that. All that stuff's really kind of small. I just wanted to kind of do this in a way that hopefully uh, would make people understand it better. Because like I said, I saw other YouTubers make videos on this topic and they were just reading all this information. It was just overwhelming. So I tried to put it together in a way that was a little bit different. If you guys want to see more videos like the ones I put out previously, uh, I'll have them popping up on screen. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.